Have you ever wondered how the President of the United States travels? Whether he's attending international summits, visiting troops overseas, or engaging in White House business, the President's travel arrangements are highly organized and secure. Wherever he goes, whether it's across the country or around the world, the President brings an entourage with him, including members of both his staff and his security team. But what exactly is included in a presidential travel package? And how much security is required to ensure the President's safety? In this video, we'll explore these questions and more as we dive into all you need to know about presidential travel by taking a look at air travel, ground transportation, and other aspects of presidential trips, you'll get a better idea of just how much effort goes into keeping a president safe and secure whenever he leaves the White House. Continue watching the video till the end. But before we start, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for updates on all our videos. So let's get started. It's no surprise that the President of the United States enjoys some of the best travel arrangements around. This starts with Air Force One, the President's own private jet. As the only airplane in the world with its own call sign, Air Force One is operated and maintained by the U.S. Air Force and is equipped to meet all of its security needs. Some of Air Force One's most impressive features include a highly advanced communications system, including secure communication ability from anywhere in the world, a full medical suite, including an operating room and two state-of-the-art galleys capable of providing 3,000 meals a day. Built-in missile defense systems for additional protection. Air Force One also allows for an unprecedented level of comfort. It has a four-room suite for the president, as well as executive seating accommodations for up to 70 people, along with staff and media personnel. This luxurious environment helps ensure that even during his busiest days, the president remains comfortable and relaxed while on official government business. You've likely heard about the presidential motorcade, that long line of black vehicles that escorts the president wherever he goes. But did you know that it usually consists of 20 to 30 vehicles? That's right. Those entourages you see on the news anytime the president travels are usually made up of police cars, vans, buses, and even limousines. The first vehicle in the motorcade is usually a limousine or SUV carrying the president and other high-ranking government officials. It's often followed by a few decoy vehicles with look-alikes to confuse any potential threats. Then come police cars, TV vans, and a variety of support vehicles to ensure that the president has all the necessary resources available during his travels. The rest of the motorcade is made up of buses carrying staff members and protective detail personnel. The entire motorcade is led by Secret Service agents in specially modified cars with sirens blaring and lights flashing. All in all, it takes a team of dedicated personnel to keep the president safe during his travels. And thanks to technology like GPS tracking and communication systems, they are able to do so efficiently and effectively. When it comes to getting places fast, the president has no better friend than Marine One. As an MH-60R Seahawk helicopter, Marine One boasts some impressive features that make it the perfect way to get around. It can not only fly but hover and land on location, which is great for tight spots. Even better, it's designed with security in mind, such as bulletproof armored body with anti-missile countermeasures, stealthy design for low observability, anti-submarine capabilities for water landings, high-tech communication systems for secure communication in flight. And of course, Marine One can carry up to three passengers in its cabin, plus a pilot and co-pilot. The Secret Service maintains an advance team that scouts ahead to each location, ensuring the presidential motorcade knows what route to take and where they need to go. They also conduct a thorough investigation of every location before the president arrives, making sure it's safe and secure. This includes inspecting any buildings or other infrastructure that may be in close proximity to where the president will be, such as airports or military bases. Finally, there are quick reaction forces stationed at various locations that are ready to respond in case of any unforeseen emergency. These advanced preparations ensure not just a safe and secure travel environment for our nation's leader, but also an enjoyable experience for those around him. By taking these extra precautions, the U.S. Secret Service can guarantee a safe journey from one point to another every time. You may have heard rumors about the president's mode of travel. Well, he can't just jump in a regular car and go. It takes high levels of planning and security that only the Secret Service can provide. 
Wherever the president goes, agents are everywhere, both uniformed and undercover. They queue up to secure the streets around motorcades and then check any suspicious objects or vehicles near the president's path. These agents don't mess around either. They're highly trained in anti-terrorism tactics and respond instantly should any threat arise. The president travels in a lot of armored vehicles from limousines to helicopters. On ground trips, it's usually a fleet of armed SUVs called the Beast that is covered with 5-inch armor plating and bulletproof glass. These vehicles also have tricked out technology like night vision infrared camera systems, GPS tracking systems, secure satellite communications. On top of all this, they are also stocked with medical supplies should anything happen to the president while en route. So you see, when it comes to protecting the president while traveling, no expense is spared. Most of the president's travel is domestic. They use Air Force One, which is a modified Boeing 747. But when the president travels abroad, it's a slightly different story. The president typically gets to and from airports in Marine One, but this isn't just any helicopter. It's a fleet of Marine helicopters that are modified for presidential travel. It also has some pretty sophisticated security features. If the president needs to travel internationally, they use another aircraft called the C-32. It's an Air Force 757 with an advanced avionics package and a range of thousands of miles. You can think of it as Air Force One 2.0. Not only does it have features like air-to-air -air refueling capabilities, but being wider and giving more room than Air Force One, it can accommodate more staff and press members traveling with the president. Not that there would be anywhere near 800 people flying around with them. Finally, when visiting foreign soil, one vehicle accompanies the presidential entourage, the Beast. This heavily modified Cadillac limousine contains sealed oxygen tanks and rocket-propelled grenades to keep its passengers safe in an emergency situation. Without a doubt, the Beast is one serious ride. When the president travels by sea, the U.S. Navy provides the transportation, usually with a specially outfitted vessel known as a presidential yacht. These yachts are designed to provide a secure and comfortable environment for the president and his staff with amenities such as sleeping quarters, conference rooms, and communications equipment. While sea travel is less common for the president, it can be a practical and effective option for certain situations. For example, if the president is visiting an island or coastal region with limited infrastructure, sea transport can provide a more direct route to the destination. Additionally, sea travel can provide greater privacy and security than other forms of transportation, as it allows the president to travel without the need for public airports or highways. The U.S. president is one of the most important figures in the world, and his travels are naturally very well guarded. In addition to the obvious detail that goes into presidential travel, there are also numerous layers of security, contingencies, and political considerations involved whenever the president travels. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.